All right, I get so many questions, so many DMs on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Alex, how smart were you in nursing school? Or they ask, Alex, how dumb were you in nursing school? What kind of grades did you get? And thanks to modern technology, I can actually order a free transcript from my nursing school. It's actually kind of awesome because it breaks down the exact semester courses and the grades I got in each one, and it calculates the GPA for each semester and gives me the total one at the very end. And honestly, I wanted to make this video for my own curiosity because I forgot what kind of grades I got in nursing school, honestly, because at a certain point, I just stopped caring because C's get degrees and, and as long as you're not flunking at a nursing school, you're going to be a good nurse regardless if you get A's, B's, or C's. And funny enough, I still have my diploma and uh, Latin honors letter that I got. It's still in the cardboard container and I still haven't gotten a frame from it yet. It's been about three years now, but eventually I will have it framed and I'll have it behind me and it will look super cool and official. So in this video, I'm going to show you the complete breakdown of all my grades in nursing school from each semester. And if you're interested, I can make a whole video about the grades that I got before I got into nursing school. Because like everyone else, I did two years of prereqs, like your anatomy, your biology, micro, nutrition, English, all that stuff. So if you're curious, I can get those grades as well. But for some reason, my old colleges charged me $6 to get my transcript, whereas my nursing school charged me $0 because it's a free PDF. It's a single email. It costs nothing. But I will pay that fee if you're super curious on what grades I got into nursing school with. So let's dive right into my transcript. So for the first semester, I took professional role of the RN, physio farm, research and evidence, fundamentals, and health assessment. So let's go through each class and see how I did. So for the first class, professional role of the RN, that was like a really easy, stupid class that literally meant nothing. Like honestly, I don't even remember what I learned from that class. I don't even think I went to class, honestly. And because of that, I got an easy A. So pretty much everyone in my cohort got an A in that class. The second one, physio farm. Oof. Yeah, that I got a B in. And honestly, I am super happy about that B because pharmacology, let alone physio farm, that is my huge weakness. Like, it's just a lot of material thrown at you one time. And for everyone starting out in nursing school, the first semester is always the hardest because it's your first time actually doing nursing school coursework. It's nothing like what you did before you got into school. So the first semester had a lot of weed out classes and this was one of them. And we started out with like 135 students in my cohort. And at the end of this semester, we had like maybe 90 or 95. So this class right here definitely weeded out a lot of students. The next class is research and evidence. And people think that it's not a pharmacology heavy nursing class that it should be an easy A. No, not for me. And honestly, not for a lot of people because our professor for this class, I remember, just really didn't teach all that well. And I don't blame him because it's just like really boring material about like qualitative versus quantitative quasi-experimental designs, like all that stuff and analyzing studies. It's hard for me to study and pay attention in a class that I barely care about. So the fact that I got to be in that class, I'm honestly happy about it. The next class, Fundamentals, and I actually really enjoyed this class. Like, this was the first class where I was actually learning the stuff that nurses need to know. We learn about vital signs, we learn about how to do assessments, like, this is what I want to know. And because of that, and I went to class most of the times, and I actually paid attention, and I read the book, I got an A. And for the last class, Health Assessment, I got a B in that one. I don't even remember why I got a B. I think the final exam just like destroyed me and I probably got like an 89%. I wish it would tell me my percentage because I swear to God, it's probably all on the border. But then again, a B's a B, I'm happy with it. It's first semester in nursing school. It's usually the hardest and I'm just getting used to it. So for my entire semester, I got a 3.44 GPA and I'm proud of myself. Now let's do second semester. We took pathophormacology, we took med surge and we took psychiatric mental health so you can see that in this semester we took three classes down from five classes and you might think that like oh that's going to be so much easier for you because you're taking three classes you took five last semester how hard could this be let me just say this to you guys this was the worst semester time period of my entire life. The worst time. It was the hardest period in my academic career from kindergarten up until nursing school. I still have nightmares about med search because it doesn't show you that we also take clinicals for med search and psych. And we had clinicals literally every single week for both classes. And there were 12 hour shifts. And even though it's only three classes, we had less free time and that just sucked. And honestly, clinicals just sucked too because it just was so boring and the nurses hated us. The nurses didn't want us there. I feel like even though I was there for so long, I didn't learn much. Like I took vitals. I would maybe talk to my patients if they were nice to me. And other than that, it was 
one heck of a semester. For pathopharmacology, I got an A. And honestly, I love patho. I don't like pharmacology, but I love learning how things work like from A to B. And honestly, that class was actually one of my favorites throughout nursing school. And if you saw my percentage, I got like a 98 in that class. Like I was getting 95, 97, 98 on every single exam. The reason why this was the worst semester of my entire life was because of this class, med search. I don't want to scare you guys, but this was the worst class I've ever taken in my entire life. For med search, I can't even blame my professor because I actually really liked her. I love actually going to lecture and hearing her talk. It's just a really hard class to teach because every question is a very situational, clinical-based scenario. Like, you'll get questions like, John Doe, 80 years old, comes in with a back pain, and chest pain, a headache that started last week. Here are 20 of his medications that he takes, and here are the four things that you need to do, and what is the right one, and every test was like that. Uh, like, I remember one time, like, we take these tests on our computer and I remember the person in front of me, he submitted his exam on Blackboard and you see your grade right away. And he hit the submit button and he just went, <sighs> slammed his laptop shut and just walked out. And I was just like, uh. <laughs> Whenever I take an exam, I take every second I can get. I don't submit early, none of that. I will go through every single question a million times until I'm out of time. And surprisingly, I gotta be in that class. Like I'm super happy about that, honestly. And I couldn't tell you how stoked I was that I got a B in that class. I think I needed like a C to get a B average. And I got like a 71, so I barely got that grade. And for the next course, it's psych and I got an A. Honestly, psych wasn't easy, but it wasn't hard. It was kind of just average. Like if you just tried your best, you'll probably get an A or high B. So for my second semester in nursing school, I got a 3.53 GPA. It's an improvement from last semester. Now let's go into third semester. We took healthcare delivery and informatics. I don't even remember that one. We took pediatrics, we took Como, and we took OB. Out of all the semesters that I did during nursing school, this was my favorite one because I was actually learning things that was gonna be useful for me as a pediatric nurse. For the first class, healthcare delivery and informatics, that was like a BS class. Like it's only two credits. It's like an easy elective that everyone took and we all got easy A's. For the next class, pediatrics, and I got a B in that class. Wow, don't remember that one. <laughs> I, I swear I got an A in that class, I guess not. But let me say this, I really like pediatrics and I actually learned a lot from that class. And you know, a B, a B is still good. For the next class is coma, which is comorbidities. So coma was kind of like med search, but third semester, but like toned down a little bit, but it was still really hard. It had the same questions and the same structure as med search, but it didn't have a clinical, so it was a little bit easier, but that class I gotta be in, and I'm so stoked about that. <laughs> And my professor taught this class in the strangest way possible. Like, I think I still have pictures on my phone and I'm gonna show you right here, like, on how she taught. Usually professors will have slideshows, you know, that you can go through and you can type on it and type notes. Nope, you literally have these, like, flow sheets and that is it. And she has these all across the room every single day for the entire semester and that's all you have to learn. But it's not that simple, like you're not just learning that hypertension causes vessel damage, like that's just easy. You're learning deep down into the molecular level what is happening and nothing is written on the board. And for me, that's hard because I need like slideshows, I need something to read off of. And that was a class that was super hard to just get a hang of and learn. Like most people just sat there and just listened and took notes and usually the notes didn't even help you. And at the end I got a B in Como and I'm super happy about that. Like. Oh my God, the first day that I walked into that class and I saw those flow sheets, I literally almost had a panic attack. And for the next class, OB, Women's Health, I got an A in. Our professor who lectured this whole course was really good at her job. Like, sometimes you get a professor and they're all right at teaching, but then you have professors like this that just excel. Like, they're so good at talking, they speak with such conviction and passion, and they get you excited about their specialty that you might not ever work in. Straight up, never skip class for OB, and that's pretty impressive for me. And let me tell you, for clinical, I really wanted to see a real life birth, and I never saw one. Literally everyone in my clinical group, everyone in my entire cohort saw a live birth. Not me, not me. Basically all I did for that entire course, I just took vitals and I talked to people who were about to have a baby. It was a good experience, but I wanted to see actually someone give birth. But I knew that probably since I would never work in labor and delivery that this was my only shot to see like a real life birth, but maybe one day I'll work in labor and delivery, who knows. So for third semester, I got a 3.47 GPA and it went down a little bit, but it's still higher than first semester. So eh, I'll take it. Now for my final semester, we got sleep disorders. 
um, public health and leadership in clinical practicum. So as you can tell, these classes are just kind of BS, to be honest. <laughs> so this is what separates a bachelor's program versus like an associate's program. We take all these leadership and informatics classes that don't really matter at all. It just matters for the bachelor part of my degree. And four semester, typically for a lot of nursing students, especially my school, it is the easiest, easiest semester of the entire program. And honestly, you're just coasting. And we had to choose one elective to take and I chose sleep disorders and literally I just learned about sleep for an entire semester. All I did was like discussion posts, there was no quizzes, there was no exams, literally just papers and discussion posts. And I recommend everyone who's in my program right now take sleep disorders because it is the easiest course. And as we can see, I got an A. For the second class, public health, I don't even know what I learned in that class honestly. I don't even think I went to class if I'm being honest and I got an A in that class apparently and for the last class it is leadership and clinical practicum so basically for this class you're mainly just in the hospital because you need like 120 hours on a one-on-one -on -one preceptorship i was placed in a pediatric er which is kind of great honestly i wanted nicu but how our program worked was you have to rank your top 10 specialties like i did NICU, I did PICU, i did pediatric step down i did pediatric er and then like adults the rest and I only care for the top five, and luckily I got one of them for the pediatric ER, but a lot of people in my program were not lucky. Like, I know one girl who wanted women's health, but instead she got adult med search. Like, it's not even close. So, I wish I got NICU, I really do sometimes think about that, but the pediatric ER was a good experience. And this class was the busiest because it's seven credits, so you're just in the hospital every single week, and you're not really doing a lot of like quizzes or tests. You're just doing your thing as a student nurse. So as long as you just did your job well and you actually followed your preceptor and you learned and you improved, you got an A like I did. So obviously the fourth semester in nursing school was the best semester out of the entire program. Um, I can't speak for all programs out there, but at least for mine, it was the easiest one and basically everyone got straight A's. And for my entire program, my overall cumulative GPA was 3.61. And honestly, I'm really happy about that. So guys, that was my entire transcript for nursing school. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully this gave you some insight about me as a nurse and how I did during nursing school. I get a lot of comments asking me how I became a nurse. like starting from high school and then becoming a film major in college and then going to community college because I couldn't do it and then getting rejected from nursing school twice and then getting into nursing school and then my experience throughout the whole program and then becoming a new grad nurse like if you want to know that entire crazy journey comment down below I'm more than happy to do a video on that I'm just taking any suggestions I can get from you guys because I'm trying to get on a schedule but it's tough because I don't know what kind of content to make on a routine I don't know if it should be vlogs or talking videos. Like, I'll do anything for y'all because I'll make whatever you guys would want to watch. So again, guys, thank you for watching this video and thank you to my nursing program for sending me my transcript via email for free. You're the real ones. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you. I love you.